I cut so much you thought I was a DJ. Hey, what's up guys, Mon here, back with another video today. I will be showing you how to download songs from Spotify to iTunes. And as you can notice, this is a re-upload. I mean, the other video got reported for spam, so yeah. So I'm just gonna be remaking this video. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys enjoy it. And uh, let's head for five likes in this video. So uh, I will leave a link to everything. So all you'll be needing in this video is Spotify, iTunes, which is pre-installed on every Mac. Uh, wine and the unarchiver so you want to head to the first link in the description so it will bring you to a media fire and I already have it downloaded so let's just um, not right click it that's not what you want to do first you want to drag it to your desktop and then you can minimize your Chrome you will not be needing that anymore you can close it if you want then uh, just bring this up into your desktop you want to right click it open with unarchiver the almighty archiver it is an awesome app be sure to download that it's very useful so you will get this document spotted DL setup dot exe and as you guys know well maybe you don't know but it is a windows file so this is what this is when uh, wine comes in so uh, you want to right click that open with wine and wine will basically what it does is um, convert the files so your Mac can uh, support them so you just want to click go and it will open up all the wine uh, setup process uh, so you want to click next accept next 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 install and it will install pretty fast and um, it will open with another page as you can see now but uh, you can close that so this is the page I was talking about so you can close this and uh, force quit wine it is done you you can agree to this but I don't recommend doing it and I recommend force quitting the application because it does not work for some reason on my computer quitting so you will click F4 and spotty DL is right there so you want to open it up and the reason why I'm doing it this uh, way is because uh, just click cancel here because the text spot download link does not work anymore so you will bring it will bring you to this page normally it will be on the music you want to just click iTunes for uh, to uh, get it in iTunes unless you want it on your computer, but I recommend it doing it on iTunes. So now you want to click Command Shift to open up your Spotlight and go to Spotify and open up Spotify and choose a song. So I'm just going to choose a song that I I'm sure I don't do not have. Guys, yeah, so I found a song. I do not have this song. It's a song by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Awesome band if you do not know it. And you want to right click this and go to Add to Playlist. Make a new playlist and it will come up right here and it will say the name of the title because you did not name your playlist and once you've done that you want to go and right click on the playlist tab go to copy Spotify URI go back to Spotty DL import playlist and command V is a shortcut you could also paste it and uh, or you could also just choose one of these and just click OK and it just added a song just click on that click download and we'll start downloading it is a pretty fast process if you want to download your whole entire Spotify uh, library it depends how many songs you have but each song takes about uh, a few seconds maybe like 15 seconds something around those lines and now you could just close Spotify you don't need it anymore and as you can see it is downloading quite fast and then you want to go here and click show in finder and then right click and then open with iTunes. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, comment uh, if you have any questions. And thank you all for watching guys. Peace out.